In today's video, I wear a new helmet, a man nearly falls over, and we look in a trailer. We're Machinery Nation, let's get our chip on. This isn't just any chipper, no, it's the new Forced ST6P HD. Yes, it's a heavy duty version. What's heavy duty about it? What's different about it? And why should you buy one? Let's find out. <laughs> by Machinery Nation. As you might agree, I might not be the right person to test this. So today we are going to get it hitched up and we are going to go and visit some professionals who are used to using force chippers and see what they think. Right, let's crack on. So very kindly, the guys at Wessex Tree Surgeons have put on a nice bit of timber for us here today to be able to send through this amazing new model of Force Chipper. And I've got to thank them very, very much. But also, we'd like to thank Oregon, who have now sponsored our channel. Yes, they have. So we've got all their PPE on. So you're going to be seeing a lot more of that on our channel. Using some nice shiny gloves. So, well, to be quite honest, I think I need to get them dirty before I'm seen in public with them. I think it was pretty cool. And thank you to them for sorting us out with that. Anyway, let's send some timber through this chipper and talk about some of the specs as we go through. already familiar with the ST6P, the standard version, then there's definitely some features on this that you'll recognize. It uses the same engine, a whopping Briggs & Stratton 37 horsepower V-twin Vanguard. It has the same open top flywheel setup with twin 8 inch blades. The familiar and proven force grip feed roller system. The 30 litre clear fuel container. Yes, it's easy, it's designed so you can see how much fuel's in your tank with a really easy filler spout. The force familiar touch button controls, which you might be familiar with if you have ever used the London Underground, because it's what they use on their trains. So what's the difference between the standard ST6 and the HD version? Well, firstly, it's got a full steel bonnet. Oh yes, whereas the standard ST version, it's got a fiberglass bonnet, a GRP. Well, this is properly steel. And throughout the whole machine, you'll see a lot less plastic or anything more breakable on the machine. Hence why it's called HD for heavy duty, because that's exactly what it is. And the HD version comes with the spare wheel and bracket as standard because before, to keep the weight down on the chipper, you just had to put it in your vehicle, but now it's got the proper bracket to hold it on with. It boasts an Alco hitch with a much stronger heavy duty jockey wheel. So they've beefed up the chassis all the way through, so it's a much stronger build right from the hitch all the way back to the wheels. So Forza definitely listened to their customers because there's always been one little niggle and that is the safety bar on the back it used to rattle quite a bit because it used to work on a pivot system down here but now it works in a linear motion so once that pushes down you then lose all that rattle so you don't have that vibration on the back end. They have made maintenance as easy as possible so you have five grease nipples here which are all capped off so every port on this machine, every point that needs greasing can be greased from right here at the control panel so it's not easy to miss one of the grease nipples. The only one you've got to grease separately is on the hitch. With both this machine and the standard ST6P, they both sport the improved and upgraded auto intelligence control no stress system, all monitored with an easy and user-friendly interface controlled by a new display panel. Force like to make things as easy as possible for their customers, so they've made maintenance really, really simple. So with the engine, everything is really accessible. Oil filter, air filter, hydraulic filter, hydraulic tank, everything is really easy to get to, including the blades and the flywheel to be able to change everything. The anvil even comes out really simply as well. So Force really, really have thought about this. So it's not just designed by engineers. I think there's a few technicians in there got involved to make sure that they can maintain it afterwards. <laughs> So 
So chipping up that brush absolutely beautifully, not even, not even quibbling about doing it, it's just getting on with the job and it's produced a lovely, lovely amount of chip. On the force chippers, they've got a nice feature that you can actually turn the speed of the rollers up and down. So what that means is if it's going really fast, it's producing a big chip, but you can turn it down really, really slow so you can get a really small chip. The main idea of that is if you're at the end of the day and you've, you're putting it into the back of a pickup, you can turn that down so you've got a really, really fine chip so you can get even more on your load at the end of the day, or if you want different chips for different purposes, you can turn it up and down. I think that's a really, really good feature and I don't know why other chippers don't really have it, to be quite honest. Let's put some big timber through it and try out the speed controller, ha! Right, so this is on the fast setting, big chip. Let's put it through. So you see that really big chip, big fat stuff. Right, so now we're gonna turn it down halfway, roughly, that'll do, and see what middle chip's like, ha ha. Right, let's turn it right down so it's as fine as it can possibly be. On the slow speed. Haha, <laughs> look how slow it is. Looks like a duck. literally like sawdust right down on fine. Look how small that is, it's like almost like chainsaw shavings. The difference in those three is mad. Look how big that is compared to that. That same chipper is chipping the same amount, or obviously the middle size stuff as well. That's crazy. But the difference in that is mad. Yeah, you got something like that. That to that. Yeah. <laughs> right, let's do some more. Thank you very much for letting us come here today and chip up some of your rubbish that you needed <laughs> chipping up. But you've obviously already got the ST6P, the standard yep. version of this. What's your thoughts on the HD version? Yeah, I think it's a lot, it seems a lot heavier duty. The yeah. chassis, definitely. Yeah, some um, big, big improvements there, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's quite a few improvements. Um, the steel bonnet, yeah. but definitely the spare wheel carrier. Yes. Whereas before you had to put it in the truck rather than because it would be over, overloaded. Oh, wait, yeah. The curtain now comes on as standard. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the speed, as we saw for, for chipping bigger timber, is more accessible. So, yeah, all very, uh, very, very much good. positive. Excellent. And you, how, how many force chippers do you already run yourself? So we run three. Three. Yeah. And which yeah. models have you got? So we've got two ST6Ps yeah. and one TR6. Oh yes, no, the yeah. track version. Yeah. 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 And you're pleased with yeah. all of them? Yeah, very much so. Yeah. yeah. And what's your, what's your favourite thing about working with Forced as a, um, as a main tree surgeon? Reliability. Yeah. And uh, maintenance wise, if you've got a little problem, ring them up and they'll usually talk you through it and usually get you going again. Yeah, excellent. No, brilliant. Well, thank you very much for letting no us problem. come here today. Really, really appreciate it. Right. Thank you very much, guys. Please like, share and subscribe to this channel and we'll see you in the next one. Cheerio.